and welcome back to my channel welcome welcome if you're new here i'm nay and today we have a little unboxing and try on or try out type of situation i have a package here and i went to sephora so i'm not sure what i'm gonna do um because i've got a few palettes here so we'll see what look we have let's just jump right into it so we're not here for a minute and an hour <laughs> So I have my package here from um, Alter Ego. Let's pop her open. I've been hearing some hype. I mean, I've been looking at some older videos when Alter Ego was getting quite a bit of hype. And I want to, I want to see if the hype is worth it for Melanated Girlies. So I got two palettes here. The first one is the Goddess palette, and the second one is the Coastal palette. I believe the Coastal palette is their newer palette, and from my understanding, they dupe higher-end popular brands. I think the Coastal palette is a dupe for the Huda Beauty. It's a really pretty palette. Um, I used to have it. Um, so... It was packaged quite nice. So here it is, the Goddess palette. I have, okay, so this is, the reason why I went on there was to buy the Goddess palette. I mean, the Coastal palette, because I wanted the Huda Beauty dupe. But I saw the word Goddess, and you know Goddess Nay how to get the Goddess palette. So, we're going to open those up. But before we do, I did go to Ulta and get the look of shopping done. I finally went ahead and purchased the Milani Make It Last sunscreen. This expires, okay. This is 30 SPF. I want to get a SPF. Let's see what this looks like on my melanated skin. I want to get an SPF that um I could spray on because more often than not, I do my makeup. So after I apply my SPF, I want to be able to reapply it. Yeah, this smells like SPF. without disturbing my makeup so you guys are you guys seeing this no I, I don't think you're seeing this right now there is quite a bit of white like the spf has clung to my peach fuzz that i have to shave off for this month i basically do my peach fuzz peach fuzz shave once max twice a month but if I do this, it's going away. So hmm. that might be a sham dunk shunkaroo. Good stuff. And it's I'm looking quite dewy now because of it. I'm not mad at that though. So I got the That's Tube from ColourPop. I don't think I'm going to use this one. Um, because I, feel, I mean, I know kind of, I feel like we all kind of know just how ColourPop eyeshadows are. They're just really good, really pigmented, great, melanin approved. Um, I just wanted a cool tone palette. I feel like I have a lot of warm tone palettes. Which is fine, because that's just what I prefer. So, you have Boa, Pebble Beach, Python, Slated, Snake Eyes, Cold-Blooded, Rocksteady, Constrictor, and Bedrock. Okay. I went and got the, the Cream Shop BT21 Brilliant Skin Hydro Colloid Acne Patches infused with zinc. I thought they were super cute, and they're supposed to just help with, like, well, if you get pimples, they do help with pimples, but they also help with, like, the dark patches, um, like, after the pimple pops. So I wanted to put these on. Wear for six hours or not. Don't apply any skin treatment to moisturize between the patch and your skin. Yeah. And then they have, like, these different sizes. So you have the small Shuki patches, then you have the Koya patches. Oh, the Shuki and the Koya patches are small. The Mang patches and the Van patches are medium. Oh, and the Tata patches. And then the Kuki, Chimmy, and RJ patches are large. So that's cool. Super cute. Super adorable. So we'll see how those work. I feel like for the most part, I have the Colloid packet, package, 
pack patches but just do what they're supposed to do so that's nice i got the nyx thick it stick it um brow mascara vegan formula with hair like fibers i got it in espresso i feel like this too also gets quite a bit of height um Why can't I open? Why am I struggling like this in those scissors right here? Come on. You don't know what love is. All right. I mean, my brows are done, but they're starting to slouch over. So let's see. Oh my gosh. Um okay i'm gonna definitely try this without any product on it definitely raised my brows up um uh, but obviously i need to go back and now recut everything and it's definitely espresso is thickening brow mascara this is dark and they had darker than this they had one more darker than this so that's cool that looks to be melanin approved the next let's go in i mean let's just no god i did get two products here i got the ulta beauty i mean a lot of this stuff is 30 percent so i got the ulta beauty eyeliners in matte black because i'm basic but i also tried to be not so basic and i got matte cobalt cobalt which is just like this blue so We'll see if I end up using those things at any point. I mean, the I mean, I'll definitely probably use the black one. I do prefer like the ink liners, but like I'm gonna see how I feel about these using them because why not? Why am I? Str oh, there's an actual tab thing right here. Yeah. So onto this coastal palette. I really hope I'm liking Alter Ego. I have. I should record it right after this. I think I'm gonna do that. A fails video coming up because I have a few fails. I was a requested fails. This is very pretty. This looks like a petri dish coral. This looks. Look at this mirror. So it comes with a plastic, and this is what the palette is looking like. Look at this petri dish looking shade this is super interesting i wonder what this is supposed to do um it's gonna do absolutely nothing but add some gloss to my melanated skin it's looking like so let's go ahead and swatch some of these i will be editing this video and adding some professional swatches like one of my fave YouTubers, Jen Phelps, because she be swatch, swatch, swatch a row. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna do a row at a time. The first row I'm gonna be doing is a jellyfish, which is this uh, matte pearl collective, like purpley blue shimmer. Um, sure, abyss looks like a shimmery black purple color. Sparkle is giving somewhat similar to pearl but just maybe brighter and shallow looks like this really beautiful beautiful matte um brown but it looks like that would be a color i would use for my crease a lot the next row is haze which is you know i'm gonna just tell you what the names are shell ripple breeze urchin urchin looks like a beautiful maybe cool tone color and glow Glow looks like something I would just slide over my lids. And the last row is Reef, Starfish, Siren, Sand, Coral. Coral is that interesting, just like maybe like a gloss to go over your eye with the Petri dish looking thing. And Coco. Coco also looks like an absolutely gorgeous brown, just darker. This looks like a very, and it feels, this palette feels so beautiful and creamy and wonderful um oh my gosh and it looks very pigmented holy sugar honey iced tea um some of these might just be topper shades <laughs> yeah because they're not showing up super pigmented but they're there's a shimmer to them um okay so that's coastal and now let's look at goddess right how am i going to decide what i'm going to do with my eyes today if i don't look at all of them 
before making my decision. So God, this is this beautiful black packaging with gold lettering. This also came with plastic. This is what we're looking at. Gorgeous. All right, so let's go through this as well. The first row is Artemis, Athena. Athena looks like a very pretty yellowy brown, maybe. Pandora, Iris, and Lissa. Lissa is absolutely a gorgeous golden brown like a golden bronzy shade oh my gosh Alyssa is so gorgeous so my <laughs> i love her to pieces one of my favorite human beings on the planet is uh my cousin and her name is Alyssa. i call her Alyssa, spelt the same so i'm just feeling like i have to use that shade we'll see the next row is aura hedda Hedda looks like this absolutely gorgeous color that I might be using. I could have used for my crease. Valkyrie. Gaia. Gaia is this absolutely. How many times have I said absolutely already, y'all? Oh my gosh, this stunning blue. Bombay. Venus. And then the next row is Freya. Freya is giving me, I would highlight with her. Freya is giving me inner corner. Freya is just, it looks very white, but when you swatch it, it's giving shimmery gold as well. Juno looks like another great inner corner and all over type of matte beautiful. Luna Avalon is such a beautiful dark brown color. And Cassandra, these palettes, what am I going to do with myself right now? So I'm going to definitely, I don't know. I don't know. Let's, uh, let's bring you guys closer. And see what we can do here, okay? All right. So don't mind me. I wipe my nose with the swatch stuff. But we're going to, I am not. Okay, what I'm going to do no, I'm going to not put a brightening concealer on my eye. I want to see how this formula is on melanated skin without any assistance. And at some point, I'll do another video in which I will put that on just to see if it's going to make it even brighter. The first thing I'm going to do, I literally just want to go in with Gaia. Oh, my gosh. Let's go in with... Mm -hmm. What look am I going to do? Oh, Lord. Um, let's go in with Juno. Oh, it's okay. So there's quite a bit of um, kickback in the pan. And let's see on my melanated skin if this is as popping as I see it on other people. Let's do it on one eye first. And then, let's, and then maybe I'll do the other eye and look janky if it's fine. It's four. Juno is definitely giving my skin color maybe just a pinch darker. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of Hera. Oh, yeah, Hera is a little lighter for sure. Oh, this is such a pretty. So on my lid, it's not really falling all over the place. So I think I'm going to be impressed by these palettes, guys. And there was a couple more that I was thinking about getting, but I was a little scared because I've been playing around with some different eyeshadow palettes and I was not impressed by a few. Um, love that. Okay, let's go in with my Morphe M453 brush and I'm going to go ahead and add... Y'all, I might think this is a dark look, and I'm is that really necessary with the sun out right now? I'm gonna go in with the Coastal Palette Haze, which is this. Okay, so the haze is oh no, it does give you some kickback. This like dark purpley. Okay, it's not as dark as I thought it was gonna be, but it is definitely like a purpley color. Um mm. 
it's showing up that's for sure so i'm patting on it first and then swiping what a pretty color i'm gonna go back in with a little bit of juno and hera just to buff that out a little bit here i went a little crazy with it right already i'm quite impressed with the color payoff on my melanated skin um this is a very nice palette so far Mm, okay. Now I'm going to go in with some type of shimmer. I think I'm going to go in with Lissa. I'm quite obsessed with it. I'm going to go in with a flat brush. This is the Sigma E55 brush. It's just a flat rounded brush. Wow. Hello, Lissa. Definitely super pretty. Well, definitely, in my opinion, worthy of being in a palette called the Goddess Palette. Okay, let's... Mm. Now let's see how my finger applies it. Oh, yeah. More pigment. I mean, not for the most part, it's usually a good idea just to add shimmery products as you can see there's quite a bit of fallout <laughs> but stuff like that doesn't really upset me to be honest i kind of expect it it's powder you're placing on your face um i kind of want to go in with another color let's put a little purple from the coastal palette i'm gonna put shell which is lighter lavendery type of oh okay okay shell i'm liking this i'm gonna have to go back it's very pigmented can you see that i'm gonna have to go back in with the darker shades which is fine um there go my kids making a, a ruckus right <laughs> I love my babies and a little bit more of Alyssa and then gently spread it over the purple so it's like giving a little bit of a sparkly after effect I'm gonna go in um, and take this little skinny Sigma E30 brush and take Gaia, 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 I'm gonna say. I'm gonna put it underneath here. Oh, wow. She's definitely super pigmented. I'm going to bring her up. Okay. Then I'm going to just take a clean fluffy brush this is just a morphe m433 and just buff it out a little bit all right i'm gonna go in now with a clean m124 morphe brush and take a concealer Let's take something closer to my skin color. This is the NARS Concealer in Amande. And I'm just gonna cut this. So it's, uh, oof, excuse me, a more sharp, defined line. And then buff it out with this thick 
oh my gosh i gotta i, I actually saw one like this in the store and i should have just bought it i've had this for so long i probably should most definitely get another one okay all right this is gorgeous y'all let's go ahead and use try to try out this um mm, eyeliner pencil um am i gonna use this one i'm gonna use the blue might as well just go with the blue right and just see let's just do the most let's do too much um i'm gonna go with this cobalt matte color Where's my, my scissors? Here we go. This is a very beautiful, bright, colorful look. I haven't really been doing a lot of colorful looks lately. Um, but I'm going to get back into it. So let's see. Why is it sticking up so much? Okay. I'm going to go and do this liner. And yeah i gotta focus Alright, so I'm going to go in real quick with some Freya and just put her in my inner corner. Oh my gosh, yeah, it looks very white in the pan, but she comes out this very, very beautiful light golden color. boom so i'm gonna go i'm actually go ahead and um prime this eye with a very light concealer and i'm gonna go and mimic the same exact look on this eye or as close as i can get to it and i'll be back and i'm gonna let we're gonna see together if there's any drastic um way in how pigmented this comes out um this is the pro conceal in fairest so i'll be back. I'm back um let's look at the eyes here so i feel like looking in the in you know the camera i don't see a difference however in person the purple the light purple color from the coastal palette shell is very much more obvious after using the light um you know concealer first as well as the cobalt blue is just cobalting blue a little harder on the top the bottom lid i didn't do anything different they look the same to me um that's only real big difference that i can see in person everything else to be honest looks the same i'm gonna say alter eagles eyeshadow palettes are melanin approved i really like how my eyes came out and i've gotta say ulta I didn't try the black one, but I'm going to assume that's going to be just as fine. But this is Melanin Approved, the Ulta Automatic Eyeliner. Yes, I'm here for this. I want you to see this. So it's a magnetic closure, but if you don't push it to close, it does hang open. 
when you just um like this you just push it and it closes so i think that's actually kind of cool i feel like it has a nice weight to it i mean the eyeshadows don't feel loose so that's good and i like that it comes with this very nice sized i mean it's a nice size palette and these retail for much money um i don't remember off the top of my head which i just put it on the screen which is very affordable in my opinion and this one's a little smaller it's a little more affordable i would say this is a little bit more sultry-esque this Ga gaia definitely made my look more sultry um there's darker shades in here i mean freya is i mean let's um i did a little more concealer under my eye after i cleaned up my face a little bit but let's just go ahead and add the blush back oops okay there we go um Blush has been added. And that was just the Rare Beauty brush. And I think it's not, is it blue? Grateful. Super red, bright, beautiful blush. And then I'm just going to go in with some bronzer. This is a Juvia's Place bronzed bronzer in deep dark. It is. When am I going to post this video? I post this for Friday. It is Wednesday right now. Um, it is, in fact, on the sale for the Ulta Beauty 22 days or whatever. Maybe not 22 days. No, the 22 days just ended. So this is like some extra sale. And I just got us some stuff on sale, which is why I... One of the reasons why I wanted to go into my Ulta. And it's just such a beautiful... Like, come on come on and it has these two colors in it let's go ahead and use freya now and see i don't really want to use my finger so we're gonna go in with the sigma i know these sigma brushes whatever i'll just use it strobing fan and f42 this is what everyone back in the day was using to um apply their oh their uh highlight and now that people use just you know other stuff now but everyone had the, like a massive fan or some type of fan for a lot of people did at least to apply it um this came in a pack i got this is so pretty you guys are not seeing it hold on i want you to see this and it's all of its glory Can you see that? It's very pretty. Um, I'm gonna just take real quick, I do something a little extra. I'm gonna take, which one's darker, Coco or Avalon? Let's see if Coco is a little darker. And I'm just going to do a little thing on my nose. Give a little more button at the bottom by just shading out around my nose and not too much because then it will look goofy in person i feel like you can get away with a lot of stuff um a lot more stuff on camera that would look so ridiculous in person but you know to each their own like you see i now made a little dentation i'm gonna take freya and just That looks so cute.
I like that. Y'all can't even see the difference. <laughs> but I think it looks really cute. I'm loving this look right now. It's very pretty. Let's go ahead and give me a little glow with the Rare Beauty. Come on. Come on. I think I look so pretty. This eyeshadow, yes. Let me know if you tried Alter Ego before. I know it's not a new brand. I think I might be ordering another palette or two. I gotta just go see what they have. Um, because I know some things were out of stock, and I think one of them I wanted was out of stock. Um, this is it's almost shifting on my face. Can you see that? Like the Freya. I love that. I'm here for this whole look. I'm liking this Milani Make It Last Sunscreen Setting Spray as of right now. It is melanin approved. It did latch onto the hairs on my face, but as I just patted it, it went right away. And I sprayed quite a bit because you're going to need to spray quite a bit of this in order to get the UVA, UVB protection. I love it. I love it. And I didn't try this out because I've tried out ColourPop before. I have ColourPop eyeshadow, so I think this is ColourPop is amazing. Anyway, that is, I mean, let me know what you think. Um, if you've tried Alter Ego, let me know down in the comment section below. I might actually go ahead and order another palette. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this whole video. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And here's some more videos that you might like from my little playlist, okay? I hope to see you in my next one. Bye-bye.